Hey everybody, we got a real treat for you here today. We are visiting uh, Rory and Ray with Zephyr Speed Shop. And uh, there's some incredible stuff here, oh my God. So just gonna kind of walk you around the garage and show you some stuff and then introduce you to Rory and he can tell us some more about it. So none of their stuff really has much of small blocks in it. Uh, Hey, it's Rory. <laughs> What's up? What's happening? How's it going, man? Good. Thanks for having us over, man. This has been no an problem. incredible, incredible day so far. <laughs> so let's just start with your dad's Cabriolet mm -hmm. and just tell me what's in it. Yeah, it's uh, got a 331 Cadillac, uh, Edmunds 22s. Um, there's paint from about 40 plus years ago, old lacquer. And uh, the guy was a pretty notable aircraft pilot. Race P51, and uh, got a collection of cars and sports cars and hot rods. And, uh, then my dad redid this thing. It was more of a stalker, turned it more into a hot rod, and uh, drives the wheels off it. Super, super, super cool. <laughs> All right, let's head over to the race car. And yeah, that's a Bonneville car. It's built by uh, by Mark Morton of Hot Buff Magazine, originator of it. And, uh, and then Bert, he's still a Bonneville racer. He's out there this year, and uh, around a flathead powered roadster, and, uh, and it's, it's a club car, peckerhead car. It's got the record uh, in the bench four cylinder flathead gas modified roadster class, original uh, B block flathead, and uh, yeah, got the record of one twenty, one twenty something. <laughs> That's All still right. standing. And let's head up top here to your dad's. Yeah, that's my dad's 617 coupe, chopped in the late 40s, and then never completed. And just sat down in Utah in the guy's garage, kind of hoarder's garage. And uh, dad and I rebuilt this thing, ground up. And, uh, that was back in 07. Just a bunch of old race car parts. And, Motor came from an old Bonville guy that was an original 49er. And, uh, he gave us a lot of help and insight to, uh, that's his number, that's on the door and his timing tag in the car. That's so cool, and, man. Uh, he's a great friend that's since passed away, unfortunately. Tons of louvers on this thing. You guys, you guys punch your own louvers, right? Punch your own louvers, so. <laughs> Punch your own louvers and Here's dad over here. It's Ray, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's Ray. He's, I can see why he's got a big old smile on his face. I would be too. And this is Rory's Roadster here. What you got in here? Yeah, this one's got a Olds 303 in it. Uh, the guy was dropping a big block Chevy in it. And it no. the original motor, so it only had 40,000 miles. Oh, nice. We rebuilt it. This car started out as a pile of about eight pieces. Um, someone cut it apart with a torch. And I found it at the LA Roaster Show one year, um, covered under a tarp, and uh, bought it and welded it back together. The frame, the frame literally came out of a junkyard here in town. Um, it was a sedan that had flipped upside down. Uh, front end came from a good buddy of mine, and uh, yeah, just uh, start. Like I said, it was just like a jigsaw. I just welded it back together, and uh, at least I use a plasma cutter <laughs> instead of a oxyacetylene torch. <laughs> <laughs> so it just went back together like a jigsaw and welded it up, and it's actually it's tractor paint on the thing. It's, uh, no, it's the most inexpensive paint shop ever. <laughs> nice. The John Deere Blitz Black. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to sell. So. <laughs> it looks good. Okay, so this is their family cruiser here. It's family cruiser, 37 Phantom. Uh, it's got some old black lacquer on it. And, uh, this car's been across the country about three times. Uh, from Massachusetts, a buddy of mine, uh, just, he did a lot to it, and uh, I forget who built the car back east, uh, but uh, just about done with it, has some work to do, but it's going to be our family custom. And then this is Pop's family wagon here. Yeah, that's the so pick grandkid the kid, cruiser. <laughs> pick the kids up from the school in this one. And it's got a, uh, what, what power plants has it got in it? Cobra R. Cobra R motor. Cobra R motor. You know, <laughs> in case you're late for school. Yeah. <laughs> you can get the kids there on time. 
Dude, you should chop that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'll be next. <laughs> nice little collection of motors sitting here. Hey, look at this already. Hey. 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 <laughs> And his dad. <laughs> so look at uh, just look at some of the stuff we've got here. Like this jack is just cool. Just collections of just cool black this, jack. This pump station jack from the forties. This pump came out of Wendover. That's from the forties. The jack is from the forties. Like it looks like a Bonneville car. That's so cool. Unfortunately, we restored the gas pump back when the yeah. restoration craze was going on. Yeah. It was all original. And, uh, and look at this toolbox. It was a toolbox that was in the Cadillac dealerships. Looks like a future liner just sitting here. And Rory's got a gauge fetish, as you can tell. <laughs> and uh, he's got quite the collection of gauges. It's, it's like Josh's truck ones. fetish. Yeah. What's that? These are the only the finished ones. Right. And then this is a nice original sprint car. Or a little uh, quarter, what do you call them? Quarter midget. Quarter midget, yeah. And then just, you know, just a bunch of extra gauges just laying around. <laughs> Buckets full of gauges. And one of the, oh, so there's some magnesium wheels. <laughs> just laying here like it ain't nothing. Actually, this um, is kind of cool. This is the original tiny tag from the car. Which one? Uh, in the poster right here. Oh. Yeah, that's that's the original timing tag with that car. No kidding. It was on the cover of the magazine. Um, that's real just original timing tag from that car, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Got that from a friend of mine. Somebody went to hot dog is not And then <laughs> Rory's also got a fetish for these uh cabinets. The old steel cabinets from uh where, where are they from? Yeah, they were uh, Youngstown Kitchen Cabinets. Youngstown Kitchen Cabinets. Uh, right after the war. It's got a few of them here. Yeah, no, that's... And, and Ray's got a history of racing motorcycles, right? And so that's one of his bikes, I'm assuming? Yeah, it is. Look at that thing. Rose motocross. Look at that. Early 70s. Two bitchin'. Bunch of trophies. Pictures of dad racing. All right, we'll head over to the other shop real quick here. So this is dad's latest coupe project. It's going to be a full fendered coupe. They just had it chopped and look at the metal work on this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the, the hinge points are all uh, been aerodynamic looking. It's beautiful Woody from one of their friends that's here working on it. Hey! <laughs> Car's on camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mike, if they see your face, then it's going to ruin the video. Oh, yeah, you have to. You can delete that. <laughs> and a whole bunch of cool stuff up there. Dropped axles, drilled plates, chrome backing plates. All kinds of neat stuff here. And look at the boys. These boys are going to be going super fast one day, too. <laughs> you can tell they're little speed demons. <laughs> they're so cool. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to head outside to the, the junkyard. So this is what they call their junkyard. And man, there's some cool stuff out here. This is from Indianapolis. This little tire rack. How cool is that? A windmill in pieces right here. A gantry that they, they actually do use. 
and then just all kinds of neat stuff frames over here got some sweet so you got a bunch of suspension stuff in here bunch of springs bunch of axles drive lines nice little chopped pickup truck bed or pickup truck body and bed of course louvers on the hood on the roof and this is uh rory's 32 that he got from the Del deluxe speed shop guys a couple years ago that's one of his other projects he's got coming up and then uh last couple things over here is this really bitchin vintage trailer super good shape and uh there was a story behind that he knew about it and he got sold and then he found it when he was on a snowboarding trip and then he's ended up with it and then this thing is super hey rory yeah can you tell me about this one real quick again just to uh it was uh, originally built for the it was a 59 sacramento autorama by uh Tognati speed shop um it was i don't know if the car ever ran but it was uh i think it was kind of a display deal that they built um but uh, a friend of mine actually found it in a guy's junkyard and uh, it was sitting at his place and uh, it had a box tube chassis um, with a blown holes with six twos on top it was all cha it was chain driven and uh, had a full belly pan and everything that part was gone but uh, it's right now it's just kind of sitting on a original fuller chassis from the 60s that someone Someone this is, chopped up the frame frame bent must have done a wheelie and came down hard uh, so it buckled the frame so is this something you're going to eventually um one of the projects in line <laughs> <laughs> yeah I have most of the parts laying around for it but uh just gotta find the time how you like this <laughs> <laughs> you having fun this yeah. is amazing or what yeah <laughs> yeah the pumps are original to this area uh, came out of an old gas station here from the day and uh they've been side by side since new I think the serial numbers were only like one number apart too, oh so and uh, it's original glass in them. That wow. Thankfully, was not broken. They were gonna throw them in a. They were gonna throw them in a pit. And a friend of mine saved them. Damn. So cool. Yeah. That's the next generation. <laughs> and just cool old sheds with just cool old parts hanging off them. <laughs> Bunch of old junk. All right. So this is Zephyr Speed Shop. Appreciate these guys letting us look around, giving us tons of information, a lot of history going on here. Uh, Peckerheads Racing is, is his dad's crew, and uh, just a just an incredible stop we made today. And we got to move on. We're going to go over to see uh, Dave Hitchens with Von Hitch Customs. That's our next stop. Whew. Man, that was one of the coolest garages I've ever been to. All right. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.